Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Where guys, last episode we finally added in um, our city destroying trade line. <laughs> Which uh, we kind of just got the basics, the, the basis of it all in. It's our like version 1.0, as you like to call it. We had to destroy a big chunk of Topsum and Market Drayton to fill it in because I want it in the kind of the center of the city to kind of maximize the potential people who could potentially use it. And it's kind of going really well. There's like 91 people currently waiting at Topsum. We have a train now on the way. Which is almost 100% full, which is really good. Uh, the Market Drayton one has quite a lot of people waiting to go straight to Rugby. So they have quite a lot of people on the way back. And it's pretty much connected up really, really well. Now today I want to try and focus on making stuff a lot more efficient. Now what I mean by that is... Uh, as well as making a few adjustments to the, this train line. Because I, I, I did this little squiggly little line in. i got to get bridges in and stuff like that. We've got way too many roads in this area um, at the moment. Uh, and basically what I want to do is make it a lot more efficient. I want to make um, some of our routes and lines, again, more efficient. I've got so many of them. And stuff like this one here. We have like uh, this little steel mill, which needs the iron and the, what was it, iron and coal. Now I have two lines going back and forth. What I could simply do uh, is have... Uh, one line a train line that goes like you know picks up the coal drops it off at the mill goes and picks up the iron drops it off back and forth but if i think about it and be quite smart about it i can use the same line to pick up drop off pick up drop off and then take the steel and drop it off at the factory do you see where I'm going with this? So it means I get rid of three lines and replace it with one line that uses trains. And if you do the train line, you know, correctly as well, we with like signals and stuff like that, we could have multiple trains on the same line. Yeah, I know. I'm a freaking genius. It's kind of almost similar to what we've done here, but it's not 100%. Uh, it's the same with this. We can make this line so much more efficient as well. But it's just kind of getting to that point and building it. So I think what we'll do, we'll focus on this one first. And then we'll add the rest in. It's going to be pretty cool. So we might kind of create a kind of complete standstill with this. But if I can get it all up and running, it will be beautiful, boys. It will be beautiful. So as always, guys, if you're enjoying Transport Fever 2, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you haven't already, please make sure you do subscribe. And it's not like you guys asking for planes. You really want some planes currently and right now. And I 100% I want to put some planes in. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to save the planes until we have like... Because at the moment, the big cities are all connected. I was kind of looking around and... Uh, um, we kind of need a nice little section where there's a couple of cities that we can really grow and expand on Which will benefit for a plane and it might be I mean st. Ives over here looks uh, like a pretty good town It does have some oil and stuff like that. So I don't know we might play around with that But I want to save it for a nice big area where we can get some really heavy traffic thrown in which would be pretty cool But don't worry planes are gonna be coming very very soon. So I think the first things first then we're going to set up the train stations. Now, I've got to think of this correctly then and how I exactly want it to work. I could either do a, a loop, which will probably be the best way to go about it, maybe. Or I could do a back and forth and then a sticky out bit, <laughs> which kind of sounds a little bit weird when I kind of say it. But it's going to be quite... Not complicated or complex, but it's going to be quite di well weird now because what you would normally do for this kind of setup is not what I'm trying to do at the moment. So let's go to a cargo one then. And I think what we actually do, if I pause the whole thing, we have this whole thing paused right now. Why don't we delete the lines? So first I got to get rid of the vehicle. So we have the crude oil and the coal import line here. It's going to get all the vehicles and we're going to sell them. Uh, I need the iron import. Where is it? Where's the iron? Have I gone past it? Ah, oh, there we go. Iron import. Sell all the vehicles. The steel import. 
sell all the vehicles, it's all gone. So then lines, uh, coal import is now being deleted, iron import now being deleted, steel import now being deleted. So th those lines no longer exist as we're now going to trans completely transform them. Get rid of those there and we're going to replace this section here with a station. So just kind of rotate normally, let me just hold shift and kind of get it a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go for the 332... 332, where am I going? 320 meter one. Let me just delete this road. So we really can maximize. And again, I've got to think of this correctly as well. How many stations I'm going to want. Because I do want to have multiple lines going through. So we're going to have it where it kind of goes... Say we start from there, comes down to here. Then it goes to there, comes back, and goes down to there. Now, you might think that's quite complicated, but if we can do the signals correctly, we can have like a, a consistent loop. Yeah. It could work. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll do four lanes. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be the right amount. Right, that's going to be just as good here. Drop that down. And then the other ones, we only really need one station. Because with the power of signals and all that jazz, we can create something pretty cool. So get a little bit closer so it touches. There we go. I can get rid of this now. You can go. Same on that one. You can go. And where's the steel mill down here? There we go. You can go. Which means then I can get... Oh, what was that? Oh, damn it. I deleted... The line, the you can't do command v to undo. <laughs> yeah, I, we kind of needed that. I just realized because there was other stuff on that line, like the wood import and the machine thingy, my jig. Right. If I drop that in, are you guys okay and back to normal? Whoopsie! I made an oopsie. No, whoopsie! I made an oopsie. Or oopsie! I made a poopsie. It's one of them. Uh, so the t uh, top some transfer, we'll put it on number two, so one either side. Okay, back to normal. But what I was originally going to say is, though, we now no longer need this road. Because this road was originally created for the trucks taking the steel down. It was like a quick, short route, if that made sense. I now know, I, I now no longer need this road. I now no longer need this road. So I'm just deleting it. I mean, technically, I don't need this road. I'm only deleting it because traffic doesn't need to drive down there because it's not really going anywhere. And it just frees up so I can visually see what's going down. Now, we still need, unfortunately, this road in here for the time being uh, because that's obviously importing wheat. And we're going to have to do a flyover route there. But then again, I might change this railway track or the, the routing of it uh, when we get this next station in. So back to where we was then. So we've got that one in. So if I rotate this one all the way around, put it right at the back behind it. What's going on? I, I keep missing the shift button. There we go. Now put that right against it there so it connects to it. Nice. And then the same thing goes down here right now. If I completely turn this around. And we'll connect it to the... No, actually, I don't want to connect to that because we'll have like, like a lot of... Um... Right, I'm going to have to get rid of this. Right, where's the actual train itself? It's not like halfway around this line, is it? Where is the train? Okay, I don't think it's there. So we'll delete this. Original rail. Because I, I did say I was going to delete it anyway. And do something a little bit more efficient with like bridges and stuff. But I can incorporate now the station incorrectly. So if I... Um, oh, wrong button. Spin that around. Now if I can get this in... Right, what's the best way? I'm thinking if I get it at an angle here. 
Um, and I've shown it to her once now. A 240 maybe. Right, about there. So what's going to happen is... Oh, actually, let me delete that. And do it as a... Um, two laner. I'll show you why in just a second. So tracks, I go high speed because actually that's what we got down right now. Oh, it's a little bit too. Oh man, I need to move it over a bit more. Right. Let me just delete that road. Buildings. <laughs> I've got it, guys. Trust me. I know. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm a trained professional. All right. If I get that, if I can get that, that turn just beautifully with the right angle. I think that should be good enough for just a moment. So obviously... Right, is that the, tr the train track going to crush yet? So the one closest is actually going to be the fly pass, pass route. Whereas this then that will come round. And then cut in. And it's only really crossing one road. Should be okay. Or alternatively, I could utilize the cargo section. Now, if I utilize that, which is the cargo platform? It's this one, isn't it? Which, if I try and get to run... Hang on, let me cancel that one. All right, that's the, the parallel running train track that I can connect to there. Right. See, guys, I've got it in my head. I've got it. I've got this down, boys. Right, into there. I'm trying to have this train track not cause too much issues. Then the cargo one is the outer side one, which is this one. Which that can run up and in, <laughs> if that makes sense. In my head, it makes sense. Or oh, I can make it go like this way over. But I want it to go over there somehow. But yeah, let me just finish up this part. So this this one here is the residential train track, which I needed to connect to there. Now I could bend it. You know where they're taking when they produce the machinery. They're taking the machinery to market Drayton. Oh, that actually works out really well because I'm shipping the machinery to market Drayton anyway. So I can pass it with the cargo. That makes the loop even bigger. Or I could do a separate train on that line. Hmm. Actually, do you know what? I could do a separate train on that line altogether. So I can have a separate... I can have one train that gets the, the ores from both coal and iron. Like, to and from like that. Then I can have a separate train because it will be long-winded the train then to then do that to then go to there to there and then to there so i have a separate cargo train it does them too yeah that's better right yeah that's better okay all right this is actually quite cool let me just cancel what i'm building there because now it means i get to utilize the cargo station so bring that out as well so it runs parallel with this one Now, do you think I should have, I should have bridged it here? Let me delete. Why don't we try the bridge now and see how we can utilize that? All right, delete, delete. This is all part of the fun. So, if you think you hold shift and lift it up, right? Let me see the angle. not long enough for that angle just yet is it if I bring it right out at what point does it start becoming a bridge not a bridge yeah a bridge okay at this point by the looks of it okay, it has to be that far back for it well, it starts there either way. Now, should we go for that style? That That's less intrusive by the looks of it. Do 
So if I run that parallel next to it as well. I don't know how I feel about this. It's, it's a weird one, isn't it? It is a weird one, but I suppose we got to figure it out, right? All right, nothing really much we can do about that by the looks of it. And so that is just the, the gradual elevation to make the bridge. So with it being bridged then, I wonder, because my go-to is to take it close and run it through there. So the passenger line, let me get this straight again. The passenger line is the one on the right hand side. So I know it doesn't need to pass through this here, but it's just there anyway. So yeah, I want I kind of want it to go down the center bit here. So if I bring this out as well. And at what point do we get this to turn to a, a bridge? So we've got to take a long run at it then. To here. Right, okay, stop with the elevation right now. All right, if I get that to there. Oh, no, no, no. Seniac, no. So this is cutting out all the road. Which could be quite... Oh, I'm taking it too far as well, I just realised. Alright, if I delete back a little bit. Can you clip the edge of these buildings? No. Let's see here. So that's what I want, but it's going to cause issues here. So let me delete that road. See, that's fine. And then we'll make the road... Oh, this, I'm quite excited for this. We'll put the road underneath ourselves. Streets. Where's the street? I just wanted to connect to here. Really. So, no train stops the flow of traffic, basically. Uh, which is pretty sweet. I like how it flies over. <clears throat> which, again, does. So, it basically says, like, you know, jump on a train. No traffic jumps. You're going straight, boys. So, that connects there, lovely. I just need to do something on this side. So if I sort this one out first then, uh, the simple back and forth route, because I've got to also connect up the cargo line. Now I could make the cargo line, ah, I just thought of something, just thought of something. And I don't know how good this will be, but if I ran, because I'm going to have obviously the back and forth line here. But this one here has to get the goods, the steel from there to bring it to here to take the machines down to there. Now, if I made the line pass through Topsum, which it does, through here, on the way back to get the steel, I can make it pass through the coal, pick up some coal and drop some coal off to make that beneficial as well. See, guys, I'm not just a pretty face. I'm a freaking genius. Oh, hang on. Apart from the game, spazzes out with the uh, directions. Right, it's actually... Because I'm so rich on the game, it's actually easier to delete that. And build a whole brand new one to save that little bit of time. And we'll go with a free 20 meter one. There we go. And then tracks. Oh, man. So, do you ever do something like so amazingly smart and you just think to yourself, Sonic, you're a freaking genius, boy. Like, we are not worthy to be graced in your presence. That's how I feel right now in building these. 
Actually, why am I bridging it? I don't need to do that, do I? Alright. Cancel all of that. Have I elevated that? Right, if I just get out of this and then re come back into it, I should be good. Okay, so this is the cargo line, right? I'm trying to keep it away from the factories. So yeah, this is the cargo line. We're not doing anything with the passenger line just yet. So I'll make this run up. And we'll put this on the inside. Okay. So that's on the inside. And we just want to make this... I'll make it connect to the first one. There we go. This one will run parallel with this one. And go straight to there. There we go. But obviously this line is coming off. I actually don't need as many platforms now, do I, to be honest. So obviously this obviously then would come out. So if I made, if I brought that out like this. Oh, actually, where is the thing? Because we can do a, we can do signals to sort this out. If we add in a secondary train onto this route. So obviously the train's coming down there. You know, you can kind of like make it stop. But I don't think you will need a secondary one. To be honest with you. Oh, I just realized I'm connected to the wrong finger. <laughs> this is the oil one. <laughs> right, we keep that there. Yeah, I don't think I need a secondary train on this because of how long it takes. It will take because these are so close. How long it takes to re like. Oh, it's here. Um, to get a full cargo load. If that makes sense. Right, it makes sense in my head. So I don't think I need to do multiple trains because by the time he's got a full load there, dropped it off, got to here, picked that up, dropped it off there. By the time he gets back to here, this is not fully loaded back up for another train. So the train would have to wait slightly. So there's no need for a secondary one at the moment. So I'll keep it to the single one. If it does get a little bit too crazy, then we can, you know, go down that route. Uh, but as of right now, as of right now, I think we're ready to go. Aren't we? I think so. Also, thinking about it, I have trucks dropping food into here. Do I? I mean, it's a little bit far fetched to kind of integrate that into there. We'll keep the trucks dropping the food off for now. But I'm thinking, train can make an extra stop and pick up some food. But then he's got to take the, tra the the food carts, wagons, all the way back. Wouldn't make much sense. Right, let's do this in a particular order. So if I press play now then, we're, we're back up and running. We're back to normal. The only little issue I might have had was over here. I mean, if I just quickly configure this cargo, extend the platforms. And then we'll do it from the start with these new train routes. There we go. So, like, we'll start with dropping the aura first. Both of them. And then, then we'll set up the secondary one. So, this... The secondary one is going to pick up the steel. Take it to here, make money. Then, hopefully, there'll be machinery. Take it there, make money. And then, on the way back, because it's losing money to this station, all the way back up to there, it will make, it will make its money... Picking up coal, dropping it to there. This coal is going to be in demand. Just saying. Right, okay, so let's get this up and running then. So let's create a new line, which will be here to here to here. Which that one. There we go. And then back to here. So let's do this correctly then. So it starts at Drew's South. And we'll want it to get a full load there. Top some annex. We want to get a full load. So here we want it to only load up the iron. 
There we go. And in the exchange, just to make sure that it's not doing anything else, I only want it to unload. Iron. So then top some here. We only want it to load... Is that the coal one? Yeah. And at the exchange, it comes back for the next time. Only want it to unload coal. That's all we want that to simply do. Uh, oh, just realized I need... Um, what do you may call it? Train thingy on it. <laughs> trying to figure out what the word was. Why are you so stupid? Wait, wait. Don't we have... No, it's down there. That will cause issues. I won't go down that, that route. I mean, I do have this one here. Where's the train? It's over there. What I could do, guys, just to save a little bit of hassle. Just place that there real quick. Uh, and buy a vehicle. So, I'd do a diesel train. I mean, I could do electric. I don't know if I set up those train lines to be electric. Now, you know what? We'll do electric. It's cleaner, considering it's got to run through tops and market Drayton. We'll try and reduce the pollution. So that's going to cost us 5 million a year. But it has ridiculous pulling power. That costs us 2 million a year. I might go for this one here. That series 1042. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Okay. So cargo... Um, this is the one we want. The ore and the coal. What's this one there? Oh, stone. So add a bunch of these to it. So we do a capacity of 104. I feel like that's about right to keep restocking. We'll go for that for now. Right, where's that train? So, oh, there's already signals there anyway, so we should be okay. Yeah, I thought so. We're missing ele electric tracks. Okay, let me upgrade those tracks to electric. So what's not quite electric? Oh, it's it's actually this section here of where it's meant to be coming out from. Right, that should now choo choo out. Where's that other train? It hasn't made its way over yet, but it doesn't really matter because we've got a signal there anyway. So that will go out, go through there, and then simply connect up. That will fully load up then with the... Which is already actually kind of filling up pretty quick, so that, that's a good sign. I mean, they should be 400 shipment, yeah. So that will get a full load here. Which we'll just wait for it. Yeah, it's slow just filling up. I want to keep an eye on this. <clears throat> Any moment now should be done. There we go. So that will be choo chewing its way along. This has already got the coal building up too. So that would drop off here, and how much would it make? How much was that? Finances? 1.1 million dollars. That's already more in that little short journey than the other lines were making before. I guess a full load of coal there. And off it goes again. So it drops off the coal, makes a sweet one million, nice, and it just keeps going back and forth doing that. Easy peasy. See, I, the demand's just enough. For, I mean, I can for this one train, so I don't need a second train on that. So that just keeps doing that, and that makes hella money for us. So now we gotta do the flip side. Okay. We gotta do the flip side, boys. We probably, re yeah, we probably reduce that. So what we're gonna be doing next then is creating. Actually, let me rename this. So this is the, uh, hang on, coal 
How do I spell iron? Iron. Import. Coal line import. So a new line then. So let's say our new line starts here. Goes to... Actually, no, let me cancel that. No, actually, no, I needed to do that. Actually, yeah. So let's say it picks up the goods here. Picks up the goods there, which would then wants to take it all the way to here. There we go. Which then takes it to over here. Which then goes all the way back to here to pick up coal to then drop it to there. Which is the beginning of that one. When it goes through Topsom here, does it pick up anything? No, the answer is no, it doesn't. So it's just a bypass route. It's just a bypass route for now. Okay, okay, okay. So let me sort this out then. So it starts here at the Topsom Exchange, which I kind of need to change up what it does. I might get, get a full load anyway. So really, it's only going to load up the steel. But at the same time, it will unload coal if it has any. Obviously, it picks it up from there. Then it's going to Upper Topsom, which is the steel plant place. Which all it's really doing is unloading uh, steel. Uh, oh no. Yeah, unloading steel. And then potentially picking up machines if it has any. I won't do a full load on that. Just load if any. Because you're just not sure how much it's going to have. Then it goes to Market Drayton, which, again, it's only then going to be unloading the machines. Which I can get rid of that, that route then, the, 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 the cargo route thingy. Uh, so once it's done that, it then comes all the way up to the... Oh, look at that. I can't do anything. It spazzes out when you're moving like that. Comes to the top some Anarchia, which then will make it load up coal. And I won't do a full load because there won't be a full load because that train's going back and forth. I'll just do whatever's available, take it. And then that's all it needs to do. I just now need to stick a train on that route. Right, what would be the easiest way to do that? Right, causing too much kerfuffle. Now, can I merge... Hold on trains here lines can I merge no okay we can't do anything like that and what lines that on I mean I could do it like this hold on guys Right, that is going to be this line here. So if I just kind of quickly... Because I just don't want to build another another one. So I'll just quickly now add in the signals as in... Boom. Boom. Just quickly now if there's a train coming... Because it's going to come down... I'm going to want to buy the train from here. It's going to come down to here. Then it will switch into that other cargo lane. And then there's, then there's no issues, no worries. So that should be fine. So buying this next train in... Let me just get an overview of what it's doing. It needs to have the ability to pick up steel. Coal. And machinery. That's what it needs to do. Steel, coal and machinery. Right, electric, we'll go for that same one again. So steel, coal, machinery. So steel, we one, two, three, four, there. Five, we'll go for. Coal, which is this one. What's machinery, that one? One, two, three, four, five. Coal, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 
and then we'll we'll see how that progresses that train and when we see that it picks up like it completely fills up all five carriages of that one particular um item that it's trying to carry that's when we'll add a, another one on top of it so buy that for 26 million put that in our new line there which yeah i knew that was going to happen straight away because i bet you there is a track that does not have electricity which it's by the looks of it that platform there uh yep this platform here and that's it so it's already now coming out because it that train's now passed so that will go it will go into that right hand train line just there I'm just showing off the ability that I now know how to use the signals and stuff like that. It's like, come on, Tanya, calm down, boy, calm down. And then that will do its thing. So, which means then, the machinery line here, machine import, I can get rid of. So machine import, all vehicles, sell. The line itself, delete. Because now the, the, the machines are going to be over here but this hasn't been important because it had no steel in quite a long time so it's not yes yeah, so i mean it's not creating anything because it's had no steel uh market wait line one market drain exchange what do you mean Passenger stop cannot be used as cargo vehicles. Passenger stop? What do you mean? Passenger stop. Let me pause a second. Right, line. It's on this side. Uh, market drain exchange. Passenger stop cannot be used for cargo by cargo vehicles. What are you talking about? Is nothing to do with? I'm so confused. What are you talking about? I'm so confused at what that means. Where's the actual train itself anyway? So the train itself is there. And it's just, has it just picked up a load of steel? Yeah. So is that now not going to move because we've got an issue apparently? Passenger stop can not be used. Right. Is anybody else kind of complex? Because I have the cargo here like what's going on <laughs> I really don't get this I really don't get this and what it's talking about. Right, if I pause, I'm going to pause, delete this. So I don't know where we're swing, we had an issue before when I rebuilt it. Right, that's just a passenger side there. Cargo, no, platforms cargo okay so why now can I not place cargo platform here huh is it because it's sharing the, the same 
The same, what do you call it? Thingy as that. Oh! Yeah! Right, okay. So it's the purple line. Yeah, okay. It is doing what I'm thinking it's doing, but that's not how I want it to work. Okay? Right, I get it. Okay, so basically, right, this train track here is saying that it's going to be unloaded on that side, and that's not how we want it to go. Right, so configure is the high speed with this one. But it won't let me, it won't allow me to build it. For some reason. I mean, what I could do is just kind of completely delete the train station. Right, I'm going to delete because it's, it's, it's easy to delete the train station. Let's just be honest with you. It is. Right, that's gone. So buildings. Right, it's a passenger one we're going to do. There we go. But we configure it. Like this, we have platforms for the... Is it because this is here? Sometimes, boys. This game can get very irritating. Now, for what reason could I not get the tracks in there? Is it because that slightly sticks out? And the same bit there as well? I think so. But we're only really dropping stuff off here, so it kind of doesn't matter, does it? Kind of doesn't matter what's going down. So, tracks... All good. We got well doing this now is given a uh, market rate and a, a more modern train station, which is pretty nice. Right, configure this because I want the cargo thing building. So we don't get a modern cargo building. I wonder what's going to be nice enough to squeeze in. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll just roll with this. I still got that. Meow, meow. So, play. Oh, don't tell me that. I, oh, yeah, because I got rid of it. Foolish. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. The passenger line. Uh, train... Market Drayton. There we go. Could not connect. Now what's your issue? Oh yeah, because it's got this one in as well. Well, that's done. Right. And what is now your issue? Don't tell me we've done all that for this to happen. So, market drain exchange. And there's got to be something in this that's not right. So top some. Well, I think it could be the actual train itself. Hold on, where is the train? Is this the train here? No, that's the passenger train. 
Oh, don't even tell me. It's just done that. What is your issue, man? I don't get it. Margaret Drayton Exchange. Line one. Passenger stop cannot be used by cargo vehicles. You're not being used by cargo vehicles. Get out of here. Well, I can delete this now. Stop saying you're being used by cargo vehicles because you're not. Like, literally get out of here. I don't see any complaints with the train. Where is the train again? Which is currently here waiting to be fulfilled. So that now has everything. Oh, guys, I'm so confused. I don't get what it's saying to me. I honestly don't get it. Passion stuff cannot be used by cargo vehicles. Why is it loading? Is it doing anything at my trade exchange? Un no, it's unloading. At platform three, it's unloading. Has it left? No. Something's not right. Something's not right, so... Right, it's left, doesn't it? Right, this is it then. Let's just watch this. Because something ain't quite right. And I ain't 100% sure what's going down. So, like normal... Passes through. Fine. No questions. No issues. Drops the goods off. Does it pick anything up? Why does it never pick anything up? Is it? There's no shipment. Hold on. Now there is definitely something fishy. Because it has the wood. Let me do a road. Right, okay, I think we get to the bottom of this now. So that should produce the machines that drop off to there, but it's not. And it's not doing that because it says, or it's saying that there's no route into here. But we 100% here have a cargo drop off. And we know a station like this works. We know it does because we've done a station like this over here where one side's passenger one side is freaking cargo so why is it all of a sudden going Yoseniak? it ain't happening on this side now why is that huh why is that I honestly don't understand it, and it's now starting to bug me. Right. I might have to spend a couple of minutes trying to figure this out. For what reasons this makes no sense. Right, guys. <sighs> I don't exactly know what I've done. I, all I've done is I deleted these three, then redid it. So. Right. So here's the orange train. It's in now Topsum Exchange. It will then go to Upper Topsum over here. And drop off the goods. Is this even produce? No, it's not producing because it doesn't have any steel. Uh, so up atop some here, and what we want it to do 
is unload nothing but steel. Oh, and then load machines. Then go to Market Drayton. Unload nothing but machines. And then to top some finger here and load nothing but coal. That is what I want it to do. And now it's decided, yo, Seniac, I'm down with this. Hmm. What I'm thinking it might be, and if this is the case right now, one, this is the worst thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, okay, okay, okay. I now realize what's going on. I fully get it. If you've been screaming at me from the comment section this whole time about what the reason is, one, I do apologize. Two, I didn't realize the game worked like that. Now I completely get it. Now I completely get it. So, right, okay, okay. So basically, right, let me pause it. I now figured it out. It's just, I just realized it. So we have free, think of it as now we've got free tr train tracks. Get it? Free train tracks. I was thinking this train track here is only for this side. This train track here is only for this side. This train track here is only for this side. That's what I was thinking. No. Because... Now, when I think about logic, I didn't think that's how the game worked. This train track is for that side, yeah. That train track is only for this side, yeah. This one has a platform either side, so it can be used for both. Now, when I'm doing the route, it depends on what side of the station you click on. Because I had the this line here to Market Drayton clicked on the passenger line, which means that I can choose the third one which uh hang on market drain here which the third one goes obviously on that train track me thinking that's how exactly it works but that's because i was clicked on the passenger one now if you click on on market drain which i am now which now i've selected the cargo version the cargo version only has lane one right i've wasted too much time trying to figure that out it's annoying, but we finally got there in the end, guys. Right, I got a train now on the way. It's lost a lot of money with me trying to figure this out, but hopefully we can now go in the right direction. So this should drop the steel off then, and this should now start producing machines. So it drops the steel off. Wow, that's a lot of money, boys. And does that now start producing machines? Yes, it does. Which would have picked machines up there, but obviously... There was none produced in, in the first place. Now, are we seeing a lot of steel being produced over here? Because we might have to... What's this, what's this saying? So, shipment's pretty high. We have a lot more um, coal than anything else, which is understandable. Because we have two trains that ship the coal over. Now, is that being constantly filled up? How? Yeah. So, I think it will be only right then to manage this vehicle. And add a few extra of these on. So, I've gone for four more. There we go. So, that can pick up more stuff than ever before. Where's that train? Oh, that train's now picking up coal. So, on this next run, it will be able to pick up machines. Which, how many machines? There's 37 machines, 38 machines currently waiting. So, dropping off the goods. That's now 1.7 million. That's going to be a really profitable line. The coal and ore line. It's just all about trying to get this to turn a profit. If it doesn't, if it breaks even, that's still fine. Because it's stimulating the other economies. If that makes sense. Now, why does this wait here so long? Oh, it's because it's waiting for a full load of everything. And obviously, it has a full load of steel, but it has an empty machine car, and it has an empty ore car. So that's why it kind of waits for the full three minutes. 
Ah, okay, that will cut down on times. That will cut down on times dramatically. Alright, so that produces the goods then. Which should hopefully increase the shipment as time goes on. I'm sure the WAS keys break on this. Right, there is 61 machines waiting. We're all out of steel. It drops the steel off for the next load. Loads up. Oh, we just one short of the machines, which is fine. That's good. Drop off the machines over here. Oh, we got, we got an auto. I thought it froze for a second there, but we got an auto save. So that comes in right now. Drops the machines off to market Drayton. Which is done. So we're almost going to make money. So we're making profit on the year so far, but this is not an accurate representation, obviously. But if I can incorporate... If I can incorporate the food, but then it's, it's carrying the food carts, then you could argue we're carrying the ore carts so far as well. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a weird one. So yeah, it's producing machines over here. It could do with more steel, but is there ever more steel waiting? It can carry 64. Yeah, it could definitely carry more steel. So more steel would then mean... Do you know what this car, this actually needs an all... Managed vehicle. It needs to carry the all cargo stuff, doesn't it? So where's that? Is the, hang on, is there even an all cargo one? No, there isn't. Oh, that's a shame. Could you imagine if I had like an all cargo one of these? That would do so good. Right, so I just want to modify it. And we want to add in more steel ones. So one, two, three. How is that doing for the... It's still on good power. So a few more steel would then mean... Obviously, it makes more money. Would then potentially produce more machines and takes the machines back as well. So that, that's going to be like our CT line. It'll take a while before it turns a profit and it'll be at times a year where it doesn't make a profit. Uh, so we have to keep an eye on that. So the food line here is shocking. Obviously, I had to add that in to kind of upgrade it. But we're going to have to do something to this food line to try and make some profit as well. Because that's not doing amazingly. But that's because it goes from there, or well, here, there, all the way down to Brentford. And that's where it's losing the money, to Brentford. I was going to do a tunnel, but I'm kind of changing my mind on that. Because I've got a food producing plant down there, which really takes the food to Brentford. So use it for something else. Yeah, okay, so I won't, I won't edit it just yet. I'll let it continue. But as of right now, this line here, I, I've got to give that that um, this line a name. So this is our steel, coal. I'll call it our machinery. Hang on. Hang on. Machine import. Because that's what it ultimately does, is our machine import. Uh, okay, so what is that original line doing? The coal iron. It's now become our fourth most profitable one, which is really good. Which is really, really good, to be honest with you. And then it has moments where it becomes number one. And we we keep fine-tuning like that. We're all going to make tons of money. I want to do it to this line, this oil line, to there. And then, when it produces the plastics, I could take the plastics as it travels back up to here, to the chemical plant, and then just go back to there. I could do a four-way loop, and the only only line that it wouldn't make any money when it travels from the plastic plant back to there to pick up and start the loop again. And you can get multiple trains on that loop. That wouldn't be an issue. So I'll look at that next episode. I know it's been a long-winded one to try and get that set up, but it's kind of improved things a lot better, hasn't it? It really has. It really has improved stuff. The transport's not good on the food. But I've got to sort that out, because that, that's a monstrosity in general, isn't it? That has been a huge monstrosity for us, but that line. The machine line, it's close to making... Oh, oh, did it make money? Is it making money? Where's the machine line? 
No, he goes to losing money again. So it, it's on the cusp of, of, of making money. We just got to give it time to do a, a few more revolu revolu revolutions, revelations, revolutions, I think it is. How's this? We need this to kind of up its game slightly. And that will only happen the more we ship and the more we do stuff with that. Is there a way in which we can cause another... Where else would machines want to go? To Ilminster. Hmm. Yeah, but we obviously we need to uh, then also up the shipment of this as well to ship more steel. Which is a lot of steel waiting over here, isn't there? How much steel is currently waiting there? 168. Okay. Finances. So it's turned a profit so far. Let's manage that vehicle and add a few more of the... Is it the steel one? Where's the steel one? These. Oh, I have a few more of those. I've now really made it a long train. I get that. But if it picks up more steel, it makes more machines. You see the cycle? It's a very long train at this point. So that fully loads it all up. I'm interested to see how much this actually makes when it drops it off. I really am. So we have 97 machines waiting there. If I just pause this quickly. Manage the vehicle. And the one that takes the machines now, is it the box car? Yeah. Still good. Add a few extra box carts on that. Oh, new passenger stuff. Oh, new passenger train stuff. That's good. That'll be very good. So that, obviously, has got no steel at the moment. It'll have more steel. So this makes 2.3 million. So it's heavily in profit on the year now. Takes the machines, which it's got the maximum 104 machines on board. Well, it doesn't take it too far. Obviously, it doesn't take it too far. It's not got to go that far for it. Check the finances, but, you know, make some money. 1.3 million, which skyrockets again the money it's only april as well so the the moment where it loses money is this whole stretch up to there then it'll make money when it drops it there so if you think about it those f things it has on board if i manage the vehicle again it has a box car which can take food and it can take packages i'm thinking of something that can drop up top something if we can get goods if I can get goods dropped to Market Drayton, it would then load up goods to Market Drayton and drop them off at Topsum. So it makes money on the way back. So I'm really trying to take advantage of that. But where is the closest goods factory that we could drop off to Market Drayton? See, Epworth want goods as well. Is there any good plants down here? Because that's the only way that we could be make that beneficial. Where are the good stuff? Okay, there's a good stuff up there, which is actually good because there's plastic over there. Would we sail goods in? Oh, no, right here. It's been right here, right in front of me. Oh, it needs steel. It needs plastics. See, that could be a good shout. And I get, I get it delivered. I, mean, I know it could be delivered straight to Topsum. But if I delivered it to Market Drayton first, you make money doing that, and it will load it there to go there, so I can make sure that that train constantly makes money. I might not have to go down that route. Because right now... the f Oh, no, that's the wrong train. Because right now the finances are like... here. In oh, it's going to drop off now. It's going to make a killing. Look at that. 
and then load up. I don't know if it will get to uh, Market Drayton before the year's out. But it's it's gonna it it could turn a profit. Yeah, it won't get there before the year's out, but it will turn this year as a profit. Yeah, we might have one more expense. Look at that. So the year in total turned a profit, boys. So if we can utilize it on the way back, then it will make even more money. But we it would be nice to have carriages that like, you know. Had all cargo. That would be so good. So good. I can add more machines onto it as well. But I can just upgrade it as time goes on. There's a lot of stuff waiting over there. Is there still loads of stuff over here? So this one itself. Configure. Oh no, I'm configuring the station. The train itself. Um, edit select the vehicle. Could do with more of these. Capacity, 312. So spend 11 million there. And it would just be really interesting to see then what this does. Oh, it's too long. <laughs> right, let me just configure this station. Uh, no, platforms. Let me pause to build. I gotta make the platform longer because the train sticks too far out. Right, tracks. Come on, boy, game, hurry up. Trying to get this all in, boy. There we go. So it's a bit longer now. <laughs> Not as long as that. Oh my god, that train's huge. So it, it, it stuck about to about there. So extend it to where I have. If it's still bad, we kind of create the bend a little bit earlier on. But that's got to wait for a full load as well. Which actually might slow this down, to be honest with you. Maybe I get this all on the same platform. I might have to do that, to be honest. Right, I'm going to do it. So if I merge that over. Like that. And then we put a... Where's me signal? There we go. Signal on there. So if the train's coming from this way, there's a signal to wait. If it's coming from that way, there's a signal to wait for this train to come in and out and do its thing. So the blue line, the coal iron one here. So when it gets to the, the finger here, pull it on that. So then it loads from the same side. Alright, so if I reverse it to send it out, it will do it the next time round. Because it's split in between the two platforms, and that's what slows it down. So you make sure it goes in here to be able to do the turn. Oh, 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 there we go. New stuff. Oh, new shipping stuff. Alright, okay, it's going to do it again now. So this train now waits. Ah, oh, it's not a good it's not a good idea, is it? Nah, it's not a good idea, guys. So top some annex, put it back on number two. Reverse the train. That's the reverse button, right? Yeah, not the uh, return to depot train. 
So get rid of the signal, get rid of the crisscross. Because it's only going to slow that train down, and then that means that that loses money. This should have enough. Why can't I click on... Oh, I'm on bulldoze. So that needs... I mean, it's always going to have enough anyway. How much does it need? Okay, it's got the free 12 it needs. I just don't know how, how much exactly does it need. So after waiting like a million years later, it's now bringing in the coal. Drops off. We get 3.1 million. And that can then go back that way. Grab the goods. And then skedaddle. So what's it got really got waiting there? It's got 96. So you probably have 200 by the train, time the train comes back. So the train might have to wait a little bit. But that's fine. Because when it does drop off, it's like a couple of million in the bank. But... It's a couple of milli. Now this steel mill here, if I could get goods to it and dropped off there, it could then bring steel back and drop it there. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Finances should increase after the little dilemma. There's lots of ways in which I can improve that train line, but either way, Market Drayton charts is starting to grow again. So after the big dip a few years back where I killed it all off, cutting through, it's now on the growth again. Uh, overview, um, quality, good in traffic. Apparently it's good. It's not great. It's good. We have some traffic issues just here. And those go through. I'm not sure if I want that cross in there. So if I killed that off and instead try to stimulate a crossing um, I mean what's going on with this delete that the traffic cross is there I'm just not sure how I feel about those crossings Can you make it go underground? So I don't want... I mean, if that's how the city wants to naturally grow, that's how the city wants to naturally grow. But I'm not a fan, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's made it very good, though, the traffic. And then the emissions... Yeah. We do have a big steam train tearing through it, so I could sort that out. But it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Now, when it comes to these farms, I could do something with those, but I need more boats on this route, boy. Let's get another one on the go. Buy a vehicle. Cargo. Vessel. This. Beast. The Merlin. Um, does... We, uh, it pretty much does it all, right? Alright, let's buy one of them. It's the perfect timing as well for this ship to come out. Pick up the goods and off it sails. And then that food... Which one is it? It's the boating one, isn't it? It's the... Food by ship. It's this one here. It's already like the, the fourth, the fifth best one. That's going to increase now with an extra ship on board. So that'll take a lot of the goods. So a boat going to each one. Perfect triangle. Perfect triangle. Right. 
I think we're gonna end it for here anyway, guys. And so we've done some really good improvements. We've really kind of made this area, this line, so much more efficient. That machine line. Why is this one losing so much money right now? Have we had like a little hiccup along the way? I think that's when we slowed it all down. It completely stopped everything dead, didn't it? But I might have to reduce reduce the uh, the train for that. I think extending this line as well, wanting it to have so much stuff, slows down on the ore progression, doesn't it? Yeah. Machines, got a load of machines over there. But it's about trying to make it make money on the way back. We'll look at that stuff anyway. We're just trying to fine tune it all, trying to find the right little balance. So, yeah. The money's coming back slowly on this. We want these big peaks again. The expenses are high. We're just going to make it make money. More. But we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. See the, dif the, good the difference in the goods transported. So if you can make money on the way back, then we are laughing, boys. All the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. So we'll incorporate this. We get some goods coming down from the coal mine over here to there. From the ore here to there. Transport the steel to Market Drayton, as well as eventually some goods. So we can then do another stop off there, stop off there, stop there and there. Consistently making money. Guys, it's a long one. Hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good bye.